But the Southern Cross is well known, of course, for being used to find south, to find direction. It's been used by sailors over the centuries as a means of knowing in which direction that they are traveling. But how many people really know how to use the Southern Cross to find south? Well, we'll use the Star Waders Southern Cross motion model to give an explanation of how we find south using the Southern Cross. Now what you would notice with the Southern Cross, once again we have the two pointers, we have the long arm of the cross and we have the short arm of the cross. And the rule with finding south is that we take four and a half lengths of the long arm and we extend it below the cross until we get to a particular point in the sky and from that point in the sky we drop down straight to the horizon and that is where south is. Now what you've got to realize on this model is that this southern cross here is a lot larger than it should be on this model. It is out of scale which means that the four and a half lengths that I'm speaking about do not fit into this gap. But we can f uh, ignore that for the moment and just understand that when I say four and a half lengths we are going one, two, three, four and a half. That is what you would do under a real sky. So right, we've an in been able to use the Southern Cross now to find direction when it is orientated in this position. Now what about when it is orientated in this position? Well let's use our same rule again and we take one two, three, four and a half lengths extension of the long arm and from that particular point we drop straight down and you will see we are pointing in the same direction. This is the same south as we had when we were orientated in this direction and in fact it doesn't matter in which position the southern cross ends is the four and a half times extension of the long arm, one, two, three, four and a half always brings us to the same point in the sky and from that point we can just drop straight down. So I hope that this little video has uh, given you a good idea of how to find south using the Southern Cross.